Hi everyone, I'm Nero from Cognicore AI. Today, I'll be showing you an easy way to download models from Civit AI using a custom node in Comfy UI. This custom node called CivicConfi provides a great UI to work with and is super easy to use. So first of all, I'll set up my pod and install Comfy UI super fast. If you're looking for a one-click installer for Comfy UI on RunPod, check out my video in the I button. Now, I have Comfy UI set up and running. Let's take a look at the custom node we'll be using for downloading models from Civit AI. It's this node called CivitConfi. Here are all its features, installation guide, and you can also install it via the Comfy UI manager, which we'll do. You'll also find usage instructions and some screenshots of the node. Now, let's install this node in our Comfy UI setup. I'll copy the node name from here, open the Comfy UI manager, click on Manage Custom Nodes, paste the name, and it pulls up right away. I'll click Install, and once it's installed, click Restart, and then Refresh. After refreshing the Comfy UI tab, you'll see a new CivicConfi option near the Comfy UI Manager. Click on it and it opens the CivicConfi menu. In this menu, you can see several options. There's a tab to set your API key and default model paths. The Status tab lets you track the progress of models being downloaded. The Search tab allows you to search the entire Civit AI database directly from Comfy UI and download the models you like. Lastly, the Download tab lets you download a specific model using its URL. Set a save location. Choose a specific version, customize model names, and even use the force redownload option for models already downloaded. Now, let's set our API key. Go to Civit AI, navigate to Settings, scroll down to the API key section, click Add API key, name it, click Save, and copy your API key. Paste it here in the CivicConfi menu and hit Save. Now we can start downloading our models from Civit AI. First, let's try downloading using a URL. I want to download this Fluxlora model, so I'll copy its URL, paste it here, and it shows all the details about the model. As discussed earlier, you can change these options according to your preferences. I'll now click Start Download, and it takes us to the Status tab with the Progress bar. And it's downloaded. Let's check the Lora folder to see if the model is in the correct folder. I'm in the Lora folder now, and yes, it's downloaded correctly, along with some extra files. I believe it's metadata and such. You can delete them if you don't need them. Now, let's try the search function. I'll search for anime. Set the type to Lora, base model to Flux Dev, and leave relevance at default before clicking search. It now shows all the Lora models for anime based on Flux Dev, and you can view them on Civit AI by clicking. It also displays all the versions. Okay, let's download this model. I'll click the download button and it auto fills the details in the download tab. I can tweak these settings if I want, but I'll leave everything at default and click start download. It starts downloading and once completed, we can confirm it's in the LoRa folder. You can also download large fine tunes or checkpoints using the same methods I showed you. Just change the save location to the folder where you want the model saved. If you want to download or upload models from Hugging Face, check out my video in the I button where I share a notebook to download and upload models to Hugging Face super fast and super easy. So this is all for this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to get more amazing, time-saving, and easy-to-follow videos. This is Miro, and I'll see you in the next one.